Great question came up, NAD IV. So is there a physiological basis for NAD and the Krebs cycle for the development of ATP, which is cellular energy? The answer is absolutely yes. You can AI search. I don't like to say Google search anymore. You can AI search the role of NAD plus, NADPH, NADH. Um, and there is definitely a physiological argument that perhaps by increasing NAD, you would be increasing cellular energy and therefore improve performance. The question I got from one of my patients recently is, is it safe to do it through IV? And it is untested. So keep that in mind that you're taking an untested product directly into the veins and into the heart. So I don't recommend it just because it's unproven. Um, I would like to see um, additional studies as it does it actually um, have human outcomes. I understand from a basic science level, the whole Krebs cycle and NAD can help you know, from the Chatelier's principle, if you remember that from chemistry. So definitely bringing in more potential inputs would result in more ATP production. But we always like to do trials from that basic science hypothesis all the way up to the human trial to see does it actually improve performance? Is there a way that we can measure the VO2, the exchange, and see do we actually calculate an improvement? So if you want to try NAD, what I recommended in this particular case is you can do it orally, but even then it's a supplement, so it's unknown. Does it actually cross? into the blood and does it actually get in the eye of concentration that it makes a clinical impact so that's my opinion is I would not do any D IV if you wanted to pay some money on some supplements but just like anything else controversial um, I don't see that it hurts you so you could try it but buyer beware